Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. We believe it's never outdated to talk about a beloved character even if he's already killed to never return to the screen. In fact, we can even argue that the dead characters leave an even bigger impact on us rather than the ones that are still present. When you are watching a series and invest in it for multiple years, you get attached to almost every single one of its characters, to the point that you consider them a friend to you. That's why when one of them gets killed off, it leaves a major impact on you. There are a lot of characters that we culminated over the years and still major after despite their absence in their lives. Regardless of the way they died, their absence has made an impact on us that can still be felt today. However, if they died in a very sudden way that not even a single one could foresee, then their death simply becomes unforgettable. The biggest example that we have for is no other than Ty Borden, the perfect gentleman of Heartland who has been idolized by many of us over the years. Ty was in Heartland since the very beginning of the show. In fact, the series begins with Ty coming to the ranch as Amy's mother Marion decides that there is potential in this kid. This is an unusual situation since Ty was kicked out of his home for attacking his abusive stepfather. Unfortunately, our modern society isn't necessarily known for its welcoming nature toward these types of children who are coming from challenging families. Thankfully, Marion was a visionary and decided to invest in Ty and provide him with an opportunity. Regrettably, she couldn't live long enough to appreciate Ty's evolution and growth. In her absence, Ty never forget the favor she made for him and did his best to be worthy of this favor. He worked hard, learned the business, and proved that he is a trustworthy person who is willing to improve himself every day. He even went to university to be a vet so that he can be more helpful to the animals that he loves so much. He also fell in love with Amy and is an amazing husband for her, proving once again that Marion's favor was not for nothing. That being said, all these have been thrown away in season 14, as Ty got killed off in the show out of nowhere. Later on, it turned out that Graham Wardle, who was playing Ty, decided to leave the series two years prior, but he had to wait patiently so that the centerists could write a proper ending for his character. Wardle's reasoning behind this departure was to follow his dreams in other mediums within the entertainment sector. He was starring in Heartland since, basically, he was a teenager. In the meantime, he starred in a few other shows including Supernatural as a guest actor, but other than that, he had no other acting experience. He also got married and divorced within this period. All these caused him to reconsider everything in his life and make a big change. The first step in that change was to leave Heartland and find a new field in which he can put his passion. That field was podcasting as he started his own podcast based on spiritual subjects. He also became much more active on social media, on which he is apparently very happy. Another interesting fact about him is that he is an anti-vaccine activist, and he is very vocal on his social media about the subject, which can sometimes cause controversy in the comments section. What do you think about Wardle? Do you think he did the right thing by leaving Heartland? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.